With its reputation for showcasing prestigious items, this year's RM Sotheby's London auction did not disappoint. A meticulously maintained collection of limited edition Porsche saw most of the batch deliver strong results, like this Riviera Blue 1995 911 GT2, which raked in 1.65 million pounds, doubling its estimate. And while James Bond may have favored the later DB5 model, that didn't stop this 1960 DB4 GT from raking in 2.15 million pounds. One car that failed to meet its estimate was an Austin Princess from 1956. Personally owned by Beatle John Lennon and featured in the promo video for hit album Imagine, not enough to excite. Different marks are enjoying varying levels of success at auction this year. Classic Mercedes have found favour in 2016, with near 6% growth outpacing the 2.2% for classic cars overall. But this a far cry from the 490% growth pace enjoyed by the asset class over the past decade. So what's driving the overall slowdown? Cars that were worth perhaps $100,000, $200,000 were cracking million dollar marks, and the cumulative growth of all that has brought about perhaps a 10% correction, which we find very reassuring. It really tells us that there is sanity and real bedrock below this market. And despite the brakes being applied, what's still selling? We're seeing a lot of younger buyers coming into the market. That's also, of course, what's educating our offering. Porsches from the 90s, Ferraris from the 90s, Jaguars from the 60s, 70s, 80s, the kinds of things that these collectors and enthusiasts had hanging on their bedroom walls, that's what we want to offer to them now. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.